Good morning, good morning, good morning again. It's another glorious and wonderful day. And this morning, as I got up, I was thinking about impossible situations. Naturally, of course, impossible situations and, uh, and the time it takes for, for natural things to happen. You know, when you watch sports, you'll hear some athlete gets an injury and they say, oh, they should be back in six to eight weeks or something like that. And you think, wow, how they know their physical condition and how long, pretty much the science has calculated how long naturally, if they do this and this and this, it should take for things to heal. There's a lot of things that take a certain amount of time. We've experienced it a certain way. A lot of people have experienced it that way. So that's what they believe. That's how long it takes to heal. And then I was, uh, I was praying the Ephesians prayer in Ephesians 1, and I'm going to start in verse 17, where it says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, that you will know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe. These are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might, which he brought about in Christ when he raised him from the dead. And that struck me, that working of his power. It's that same power that he brought about, that the Father brought about in raising Jesus from the dead. Now let's talk about an impossible situation. Even naturally, when Jesus died, he was beaten, you know, he was, uh, his bones weren't broken, but he was stabbed. He was bled out. He was stabbed through the heart, you know, after he was dead, bled out. He had given up his spirit naturally, just, just theoretically, not theoretically, but hypothetically, if he had not died and they put him in a hospital and they put all this right stuff to help him recover, it would take at least three months for him to be up and at him again, but three days three days and he was back, right? This was not just natural. This was supernatural. This was the life of God. And what he says right there, he was praying that power. Paul didn't say, I pray that this power would be at work in you. He said, I pray that you would see this power that is at work in you. That's the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. You think you had a bad day. Jesus died and went to hell. We have recovery power for a bad day. Think about that. He had what we would consider the worst day you can have to bear the sins of everyone. Like, you know, you're sitting in the lunchroom and you go, how's it going, Bob? Oh, it's going all right. You know, how about you, Jesus? Well, I had all of the sin of mankind poured on me and I was murdered for no crimes, only for being righteous. And I went to hell. Oh man, that's terrible, Jesus. What an awful day. You know, you had a really bad day. But three days, he didn't spend months trying to recover. In fact, he wasn't just trying to recover. He was enacting victory in hell. Three days, he rose again. He didn't rise again just the same condition as he went to hell in. He rose again with all power. He said, all power has been given to me in heaven and in earth. We can have trust in the amazing, awesome spectacular, stupendous, fantabulous power of God. He can work great things. There is no uh, too late. I've heard people say things, you know, your faith can take you too late. You can be totally convinced and put yourself down a road and say, well, I'm not going any further. You can call it too late, but God's power, there's no too late for God's power. He was dead. He was sin. But God, but God, God's power was more than enough, and his power is at work in you. So we just got to put our faith in, trust in, our confidence in the God who raised Jesus from the dead and his power with which he raised Jesus from the dead, that he is at work in us and he can do anything. And in faith and in Christ, we can do anything. Amen. Be blessed.